Hi, this is a pre-video before my rant on so-called positive discrimination and diversity, giving some background information about myself so I later don't appear to be a hypocritical racist. Once upon a time in a place far, far away, I was teaching English, working for a private language school who then sub-hired me out to state schools. Each of these state schools had different requirements based on the colour of your skin, gender, passport, ability to teach, accent, or even just the ability to speak English. But the main criteria was being entertaining and being able to play the game. None of them bothered about teaching experience degrees, TEFL. Those were only useful to get you a visa or jobs within universities or Korean summer camps. Some schools would not hire people from certain countries. Other certain genders or races. Some demanded a demonstration class and a conversation with their English teacher to make sure you could speak English. The ideal candidate would be a good looking 20 something blonde American girl who would be more of a babysitter than a teacher. My school tried hiring a Filipino who had a perfect American accent and majored in English in university. But some of the children's parents said they didn't want her to teach because she was just a fellow countryman pretending to be a foreigner and they weren't paying extra money for local in disguise. She later got fired because not enough schools would hire her, but Germans and Polish with worse English didn't have a problem finding work. I think the reasons for this were Hardly any of the parents could speak English and wouldn't know the difference between German, Spanish, nor English. And it would hurt their pride to admit another Asian could speak English better than their own English teachers. The advice I was given that sounded up was, once we have the head teacher's approval, the most important thing is that the parents are happy. So just make sure the children write a few things in their books then make sure the children have fun and tell their parents nice things. My Dutch co-worker was leaving to go to another city, therefore my school needed another teacher to teach in one of their key primary schools. But before they hired you, you had to be white and pass a demonstration class in front of the head teacher and the English teacher. I was the only white teacher who was not a freak of nature my school had to offer. They already had the Finnish guy teaching there. So I did my thing, I had a chat with the head of English department for half an hour and the principal. The principal couldn't speak English but she told me I wasn't allowed to date any of the other teachers because she heard about a foreign teacher and an English teacher dating and then moving to another city and the principal didn't want the difficulty of finding new staff. I found the warning very amusing and it made me want to do it more, not less. I taught in the school and used their bigotry to get my friend a visa and myself better working conditions. To summarize the main point of this video, I hate the idea of positive discrimination and the like, but I don't blame anybody who takes advantage of it. If the system somehow classes you as diverse, you don't have to agree with it. You just take as much as any fool would give you, but you still don't have to agree with positive discrimination or any other discrimination by another name. Just say people should be judged on their abilities and the content of their character, not the colour of their skin. I blame the people who campaign, make and enable these laws, not the people who take advantage. I have no respect for the white male plastic left who are not irritated by sexist, racist, suppressive laws against them and their children, which ironically are done in the name of equality. The only exceptions to this I can think of are undercover police and some acting roles. I wouldn't make a very good plant in the Black Panthers, and I couldn't play Malcolm X or Lucy Liu, and Denzel Washington couldn't play Hitler. I also think the UK should only have one language, but demanding a certain percentage of emergency staff and emergency staff only and the necessary language skills seems sensible to me. Thanks for listening to my pre-rant. I'll try to make another video in a few weeks. Bye.